Good morning to all. I welcome you all to this didactic program. Thirukkurlood Naam Attending in fact with a noble desire to reach the seat of grace in life by practicing the ethical values of Thiruvalluva. Kaprat number 898 Chapter Not Offending the Great On one occasion, King Parikshit accompanied by his group went to forest for hunting. As he hunted for a long time hunting, he went into the deep forest leading his group. He felt very tired and was searching for water to quench his thirst. He found a hermitage at a distant place. He went to the place and requested for water from the outside. There was no answer to his request from inside the hut. So he got down from his horse and entered the hut and found Sage Shamika in a meditating state. King Parikshit became angry as he did not get a reply despite his several requests for water. In a fit of rage, the King Parikshit came out of the house, picked up a dead snake and put it over the neck of the sage. The son of the sage, Sage Shringi, came after some time to the hermitage and found his father Shamika got landed with a dead snake. He became very angry at this act and identified the person through his power of penance so he cursed immediately that the king parikshit would be bitten by a snake within 7 days and he should die sage shamika came out of the meditation after several hours he came to know what had happened there and regretted that incident however he maintained patience with the thought that anything should go as per fate king parikshit came to know about being cursed by the sage shringi He felt very sad for his mistake, handed over the rule to his son and undertook sainthood. He invited the sage as an act of seeking apology and started listening to his discourse on Bhagavata. At the end of seventh day, a snake named Takshaka bit him and he died. One should not humiliate the respectful person due to anger or urgency. And if they do so, then they will have to undergo the sufferings in accordance with their sins. King Parikshit was one of the leading example to this. If a person bestowed with all kinds of power decide to eliminate the other despite the person possessing huge wealth, he will be wiped out totally. Our Saint Tamil poet Thiruvalluvar explains about this in his Thirukkural as follows. Kundrannar kundra madippin kudiyodu nindrannar maivar nilathu I recite Kundrannar kundra madippin kudiyodu nindrannar maivar nilathu Insulting elders signals downfall respecting elders signals growth thank you very much indeed nandri vanakkam